Art in Action, as far as I'm concerned, is one of the best art events in the country. I don't think there's anything like it. The atmosphere in this event is unique. It's a very good day out. Very good day out. Every July, hundreds of artists, musicians, teachers, performers, lecturers and a small army of volunteers come together at Waterperry House near Oxford. For four days, they create a unique artistic atmosphere called Art in Action. You've got tents full of all sorts of things really, um, sculpture, um, painting, crafts, um, woodwork. It's just a whole range of things to see and do. On arrival, they set up their workshop or studio in one of the marquees. Then, over the next four days, around 25,000 visitors come to see art being created. They watch, they inquire, and often acquire. It's a great way to break down some of the barriers. It's a great way for the public to be able to see what I'm making without being intimidated by a studio or by a gallery presence. So they can actually, actually just ask questions that they want to ask. It's really inspiring to come to a big event like this and uh, see everybody's work. And again, you can get lots of ideas and be inspired to create your own work as well. Some visitors roll up their sleeves to learn to create art of their own. From painting to sculpting, from basket weaving to woodwork, from pottery throwing to pyrography. Arts for all ages and all levels of skill. It felt like the mud when it went between my toes when I had no shoes on. And when the eyes can take no more, visitors go to the open air theatre to hear music from around the world. I went into the house for the first time, up to the ballroom, listened to my little baroque company. Great choice of music and the room was packed. It's just beautiful, beautiful setting and it takes you out for an hour and uh, yeah, you enjoy another aspect of arts and music. Visitors find hidden corners and relax in the gardens, or slip into the sanctuary of Waterperry House for a tour of the recently completed fresco murals. It's beautiful, it's perfect. It's perfect sitting here in the evening sun with a pimps. Some visitors taste as for champagne and strawberries, or Belgian waffles, while others pick from a wide range of fresh food. Over in the craft marquee, around 100 designer makers have come to sell their art and their crafts. This is the materials and publications tent. There are people selling paints, brushes, threads. It's literally materials to do all sorts of arty things. You could go all over England and you'd never see so much beautiful work if you went around trying to find it as you do here. It's all concentrated, it's unbelievable. It's a perfect day out because we can chill out, we can look at things, we can get ideas for things, but we can go away with things as well. 